Hey little moment friends, Andang here for another episode of Transport Fever. When we last left off, we had set up this new line to Clearwater and went into the tunnel and came out on the other side and actually connected up this entire circle now to where we now have our entire circle of cities complete. And now we can actually focus on starting to look at resources and things like that including this brick facility where we're going to make construction materials which requires stone which is across the tracks here so we're going to, have to figure out how to do that of course which now you can actually cross rail lines which is fantastic with other rail lines in transport fever so that is great and so we're just going to you know continue to expand everything and just make everything be awesome and so we're going to set up that line, but not quite yet. We do need to have enough money, and right now we do have a $9 million loan, and we're not exactly on the profitable side here, so we do need to wait a bit to make sure that we have enough for this very involved project, because we not only have to create the line from the stone quarry to the construction material plant, but we then need to have the line also go back to Birmingham, which will require... You know, a fairly involved process, which will cost a lot of money. All right, and there we go. We did get a new passenger car and also a stagecoach. So let's go ahead and actually upgrade everything onto auto-replacing two stagecoaches. All right, there we go. Everything got upgraded. All right, and train one has reached its lifetime limit and should be replaced, as it does say there. So let's go ahead and look here to see what we need to do. So I think we're going to actually do the auto upgrade, set vehicle, do that one. And we'll use the new cars. We'll actually do six. And then do auto replace, there we go. So fairly soon. Probably when it reaches the, well it's not that one actually, it's this one. Once it reaches the depot it should be upgrading I'm guessing. And we can also actually borrow back our loan so that hopefully it'll spend it. And we should be good to go here. Alright and we do have our first stagecoach here which is a little bit faster and also holds one additional person. And they look pretty cool. Alright and there we go our train did upgrade. And it is now the new locomotive, and it has 72 people on board right now, which is kind of crazy. And this almost takes up the entire station here, which is pretty cool. And it goes up this hill much more effectively than the previous train. The previous train was 14 minutes. This is still set at 14 minutes because it hasn't updated yet. But once it reaches the station, that should be going down quite a bit. Here we go. 483000 dollars right there on that one train load. That is fantastic. That will definitely bring this line back into the positive for sure. And it brought it down to 10 minutes. I'm guessing that'll go down even further once it goes back in the other direction. So this is great. This line is working much more effectively than it was previously. Alright, and train 2 already needs to be replaced, so that means that we are going to need to be saving up once again to replace these other two lines. I think we might wait until we expand, though, to replace these other two, since they seem to be fairly profitable right now, whereas line 1 was having issues with profitability, which upgrading it seems to have actually fixed. It's mainly just because that huge incline really made it necessary to upgrade that line as soon as possible. Alright, so we now have six million dollars in the bank with still our ten million dollar loan and I think that it is now time to go ahead and build this route that we've been talking so much about for so many episodes but this is going to be such an important route it's going to make us a ton of money I hope and so let's go ahead and start building it. So I actually build routes the from the end to the beginning with the exception in this case of the city since it is in the middle I'm going to be building from this production plant across this river onto the industry upper side of Birmingham and through onto the stone quarry and then have two trains set up, you know, the line set up for to where two trains can go through that whole route. So, let's go ahead and start building this up. 
right there. That way we can go on to clear water if we need to. Then let's see, where do we want it here? Just right here at the end. Alright, so that covers all that. Not exactly the full coverage we would want. I think we might want to build a road across. There we go. Alright, so that didn't do anything. Good to know. Well, hopefully that'll make it be easier for industry to expand up here. So we'll go ahead and put it there. Alright, and then we do want another one right here at the stone place. Right, there we go. We can now build across the track. Straight across. I didn't even have an issue with the train there. That is awesome. Alright, let's keep going. Definitely don't want to build a tunnel, so we're going to curve. Let's actually start from this other end. We actually want this one to go straight through, so we'll put it on the top side. Let's turn that on. So I think it might actually be worth it just to go straight through the mountains. We're going to delete this road. It looks like to cross here. Let's see. That'll work. There we go, that's the first part of the line all set up and good to go. Let's go ahead and put the appropriate markers here to where this actually works. There we go. Alright, back to track. We now need to connect both lines, both sides of this station up to this location. So let's go ahead and build a bridge across. There we go. Let's see. Let's go ahead and build the second line across. There we go. We've now got our entire route all set up. Now we just need to buy the trains. <laughs> so let's go ahead and we're going to need to actually wait a bit I think until we have enough money for both of the locomotives. Although the cars actually might be quite a bit cheaper so this actually might work out fairly well. So I think we're going to go ahead and upgrade this to 3. And apply that on out. That way we have a way to expand on out to this city when we need to. And we can also build out our depot much easier so that we can see exactly where we want it. And there we go. Okay, so I think we will actually have enough to go ahead and build these on out, so we're going to at least try. Here we go. Okay, there we go. We're going to start out with just seven of these cars. We're going to set line, new line. That takes it from way over there. All the way to here. And so that is now a stone line, and we're going to go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff. 
So there we go, got all the cars all nice and set up. And now we want to go ahead and build the second train to be going on a new line from this facility on to Birmingham. So there we go, that should actually deliver to the industry which will be fantastic for the city of Birmingham. There we go, we got our box cars all ready and good to go. And look at that, already getting the stone onto these cars and I love that they actually fill up partially. That was a nice feature that they added in into train fever and glad to see it's still here in transport fever. All right, and we did make a mistake. We did actually pick the wrong type of cars for this train. So we're going ahead and telling it to go back to the depot. And we're gonna go ahead and sell all that stuff off and go ahead and buy the correct cars here for the construction materials. All right, there we go. Put on the right line. Fantastic, now we should be good to go. And here we go, the quarry is finally delivering, and we should be off to the races after this. Alright, $236,000 on that delivery alone, that just partial delivery, which is fantastic. And that line is already profitable, this is fantastic news. We look here, production has already begun, which is great. If we take a look here, they do have the stone over here, and they are making the construction materials over here. So that's great. Alright, and we do have some money to spare, so we can go ahead and repay actually a million dollars of our loan. So that is fantastic news. And there are bricks here waiting to be delivered, or construction materials, or whatever you want to call it which is great because this train is already ready for the return journey to be getting more construction materials. And so Birmingham should now be a city that is getting ready to just expand like crazy, which will make the passenger line be more profitable as well. So adding in these construction materials will just help the city overall. And we can see that, you know, the population, it's all right, you know, not too bad. But the industry is really going to be taking off when we add in these construction materials. So that is great news. Alright, and our stone train has filled up with four and a half cars. That is fantastic. 32 stone goods in this train. And if we go back over to our construction materials, we look, we can see that three cars are mostly filled. The last one's not entirely filled. So that is great. We are already off to a really good start here. And I think if things continue to do this well, we will probably want to be adding on another stone line. And then also adding on a line to Clearwater to be taking these materials to both cities. And really starting to just expand this line on out and really make it be as profitable as it can be. Alright, and some of our construction materials have delivered here. So as you can see, there is currently 9% usage. Obviously that's going to be going up quite a bit as the city continues to expand and as this line just continues to start to make profitability especially once all of these uh, goods actually make it over with all these stone and it looks like that they're actually racing right now going across here that is awesome all right, let's see how much this makes <laughs> all right 397,000 right there which does actually make this line be close to being profitable again. Actually, it is profitable, so that's fantastic. So hopefully this other line will become profitable as well as this starts to really ramp up production. It's already up to 36, and the stone quarry is up to 80. So it's actually going to be actually having a upgrade in seven months. So that is fantastic news. So I think that this is a good place to end off this episode. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of Transport Fever.